Morning, happy Thursday, July 25th, weigh-in day. So, I um, was kind of rushing around this morning because I had, well, no. At first, I wasn't rushing around because I had an eye doctor's appointment at 8.20. And then, then I was rushing around because it they called and said that my eye doctor unfortunately had a family emergency and she wasn't going to be in today so they had to reschedule me and so I'm then I had to get to work so um or Mark had to get to work um me not so much because I worked a little extra on Monday so that I could go to my eye doctor's appointment so um I'm taking a little walk around um Home Depot once or twice I'm in the back here is some shade again, so I think I'm just going to walk back and forth here a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and go to work. Um, so, all that said, because uh, I forgot to upload my video. I had it all saved and all ready to go, and then I forgot to upload it. So, that's why you're seeing yesterday's vlog right before I upload this one. Just so you know, I'm not going to upload this until I get out of work, but I'm going to upload my yesterday's uh, what I ate in a day video before I upload my weigh-in video. <laughs> so that's why they're both um, Thursday evening. So I have a bug flying around my head. That's gross. Um, weigh-in day. I, I felt really good the last couple days. Um, I think I did okay at the the party, the graduation party, and um, I mean, I, I wished I could have made better choices uh, as far as like the chips went and maybe a little less cake, but other than that, I think I did fine. And um, Friday I had gone over, but I still had allowance points left, so that covered that. And then, I don't remember Sunday, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did really good. So, um, I was hoping for a good weigh-in today because I felt like I had done okay. It was good. I got on the scales this morning and I weighed in at 185.2. So that was a 1.8 loss. So that's awesome. Now I need to keep this momentum going so that I can get under that 185 and just keep going because I got to the one, I think it was like 185.4 and then I went up. So. I need to um, keep this momentum going. I feel good. I feel like um, I'm on track and in focus. So um, that's awesome. And I just want to keep it going. And I want to um, get some more. I want to. I want to see the 170s. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I, I'm not going to see that next week, but I can't wait to see that because oh my gosh, it's like everybody that's or a lot of people that are in my life right now, like. I was, when, the last time I was 170 was just, the last time I was 175 was just before the twins were born. So like a lot of the people that are in my life now, like my work friends and my work, my coworkers, none of them even knew me when I was pregnant for the twins. So none of them knew me at this size. I've always been larger in the last, I've worked here for um, a little over 12 and a half years and um, and none of them have seen me at this weight so that's really awesome and so I can't wait to hit that milestone of 175 that's 10 pounds away so it's a it's it feels like a pretty big milestone to me because um, after I had my first son <clears throat> I had lost 60 pounds and I had gotten down to I think 150 I think it was like 150 and then and this is this is a this is a, a statement of how true it is that this has to be a lifestyle and even when you hit I wasn't quite at maintenance but um, even when you hit maintenance I know from experience and we all have this experience that um, when you hit that you have this has to be a lifestyle and you have to you know count and track and and be mindful and forever because when I hit 150 um, after I had my first child I started eating Oreos and chips and in two weeks I was 175 
I remember that distinctly because I was like, holy cow. And then I got pregnant for the twins, so then I couldn't lose any more. And, um, and then I, I struggled. After I had, after I had the twins, I, I've just struggled for the last, well, they're 18, so for the last 18 years. And um, so it feels good. And so that, that milestone of 175 just feels, it, I just can't wait to hit that milestone. And then um, the uh, an next milestone would be 150 because that was, you know, that's what I had gotten down to um, when I had it after I, after I lost that 60 pounds after I had my first child. And then, um, and then it will be to goal. So um, I think, let's see, 185. I want to be like 140-ish. So that's, what, 45 pounds left? That's Oh, that's so doable and like I can see it. I can just see it and it's just so awesome. So yeah, milestones, little baby milestones. I know I've talked about that before, but that's that's what's kept me going is the little milestones that I can hit and, um, and feel accomplished with those little milestones until I get to that big goal, so. But anyway, I went at, weighed in at 185.2. I was happy about that this morning. That was a 1.8 loss. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. And you know, after that 1.4 gain last week, that was a little bit more than I had gained. So that's that's great. I'm so so thankful for that. And um, like I said, next week I want to see another loss. I'm I'm going to keep this momentum going. I feel good. So that's awesome. Um, but. Anyway, I have to get to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your week is going well. I hope your weigh-ins all go well. And I will um, see you in the next video. I think, oh, there's bugs on me. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.